Good morning. I'm so glad to see everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Online Storytime Friends with the Massillon Public Library. My name is Mr. I see some other friends out there too. We have some stories all about things that fly. Let's start off with our, our hello song. And, and we're going to use a little bit of sign language for this. So, and we did this before. Take your two hands, you point your fingers together like that. Can you do that? That means more in sign language. So if somebody can't hear, sign language to talk. This is more. And then put your hands together with your thumbs up and go like that. That's together. This is happy. Happy. Or you could smile. And this is friends. So you take your two friends. Like that. That's okay if you're not feeling happy today. Maybe we can make you happy a little bit. Okay? Let's go and sing the more we get together. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier will be. Because your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Well, good morning. So there are lots of things that can fly. Do you know any of them? Can you think of something that could fly in the air? Hmm. What about a butterfly or a bird? Hmm. How about planes and balloons? A rocket ship can go up into the moon, up to the moon. Those can all fly too. So our stories today are all about things that can fly. Well, yeah. Dad, this is about a little fly. Can you see him? There he is. Yeah. And this little fly landed on my knee. Okay, there's a fly. A fly is on my knee. So you can do, you don't have a fly, but you can make a fly out of your finger like this and point to your knee. A fly is on my knee. A fly is on my knee. Oh no, just watch me blow. <sighs> Blow them away. Oh, sorry. A fly is on my knee. How about he flies up to our elbow? Where's your elbows? Can you show me? Yeah, right there. A fly is on my elbow. A fly is on my elbow. Oh no, just watch me blow. A fly is on my elbow. And then he flew up to my nose. He's on my nose. A fly is on my nose, a fly is on my nose. Oh no, just watch me blow. <sighs> a fly is on my nose. And then he flew away. Goodbye, fly. Well, I think our first story will be called Someone Bigger by Jonathan Emmett and published by Clarion Books. And it's about a little boy named Sam who wants to fly a kite with his dad. This is a kite and you can put those up in the air and when the wind is blowing, it will catch the kite and keep it up in the air and fly really, really high. Well, this little boy, Sam, he wants to fly the kite all by himself. But his dad said, we need somebody bigger. Sam and dad had made a kite they hadn't made it large, they'd made it light. They went out on a windy day to see if they could fly it. Can I hold it first, asked Sam. I'm old enough, I know I am. No, you're too small, his dad replied. This kite needs someone bigger. And then dad let go and launched the kite up in the air, unwound the string and held it tight. While Sam stood by and watched, and he wished that he was someone bigger. 
But the wind blew hard and the kite flew high and it pulled Sam's dad up into the sky. Sam went running after him. Can I hold it now, asked Sam. I'm old enough, I know I am. No, you're too small, his father cried. This kite needs someone bigger. Who should they get? Well, the kite flew up above the town where people tried to pull it down. A postman, a mailman with a sack of mail, a bank robber who had just escaped from jail. They tried to pull it down. A policeman riding on a horse. Well, the poor horse. A bridegroom and his bride, of course. But all of them were pulled up in the sky too. And Sam went running after. Can I hold it now, asked Sam? I'm old enough, I know I am. No, you're too small, the people cried. This kite needs someone bigger. And then by some strange stroke of luck, they flew right past a fire truck. And when the firemen saw the kite, they grabbed the string and they held on tight. But all of them were pulled up in the sky too. And Sam went running after. There's Sam. Can I hold it now, asked Sam? I'm old enough, I know I am. No, you're too small, the fireman cried. This kite needs someone bigger. Well, the kite flew on, it would not fail, it would not fall. It pulled a rhino from its stall. Oh, they must have gone over the zoo and took the rhino right out of the zoo. And other creatures from the zoo, a tiger and a kangaroo. Yes, all of them were pulled up too. And Sam went running after. Can I hold it now? Asked Sam, I'm old enough, I know I am. No, you're too small, the t creatures cried. This kite needs someone bigger. They should just let him try maybe. And then Sam caught the kite at last. He grabbed the string and he held it fast. And even though he wound and wound, his feet stayed firmly on the ground. Wow. And then one by one, they came back down. Everybody from the zoo and the town, rhino, tiger, kangaroo, fireman, bride, and bridegroom too. The postman, policeman, robber, and the horse. And last of all, Sam's dad, of course. There's Kate. I'll hold it now, said Sam, because I'm old enough. I knew I was. I'm not too small, and as you see, this kite needs someone just like me. He did, he saved them, didn't he? He was strong enough to pull it down, and now Sam gets to fly his kite all by himself. All right. Well, we could take our scars if you have one, or you can use a blanket or a paper towel. That would work. Something that we can wave around a little bit. There you go, grab it. And you can grab it by the end. So you can wave it around. Okay. So this song is called My Kite. And we're gonna make our kite fly up high. Like this. My kite is flying high. My kite is flying high over your head. Oh my, just watch it fly. My kite is flying high. Oh no, our kite's falling down. <gasps> my kite is falling down. My kite is falling down. Oh no, it's down so low. My kite is falling down. Whee! You can toss it in the air maybe and throw it down. But now the wind, the wind has caught my kite. The wind has caught my kite. Maybe make some circles. The wind has caught my kite. Oh, what fun, I'm on the run. The wind has caught my kite. And now our kites are way up high in the air. My kite is up so high. My kite is up so high. Oh my, just watch it fly. My kite is up so high. Oh no. Hey, I have another story for you. 
about an elephant who is also a helicopter. A helicopter is like a plane that flies in the air. It uses propellers, but I think our helicopter, our helicopter is going to fly through the air. Helicopter by Michael Slack and published by Henry Holt Publishing. She scans the savanna from high above, patrolling the sky. It's a labor of love. So it's an elephant flying in the air. Whatever her mission, she always succeeds. Oh, look, she saved that lion from falling off the cliff because he couldn't see with all that hair. Should he cut his hair? His mane? Yes. A benevolent elephant on a flying stampede. On the horizon, something's rising. Do you see that? A billowing cloud. That looks like smoke maybe from a fire. Oh, smoke! Trumpet the alarm, loud. Do, 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 do. you know what an elephant sounds like? Can you make an elephant sound? Do, 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 do. That's what I think they sound like. Go, helicopter, go! She's brought her rope. Flying into danger, she's first on the scene to airlift this rhino from a rocky ravine. And then she scoops up the cheetah, alone and marooned. Marooned means he's trapped, he's stuck. And then lowers down a ladder to the stranded baboons. Look at that. They're climbing up into the helicopter. This is so big, I need to turn my book. Until all are aboard, nothing will stop her. Look at that, she even saved this giant. Do you know what that is? Giraffe, a giant giraffe. Rev those rotors. Go, helicopter, go. Once the animals are all safe, zoom, off she goes. Can you see what she's doing there? She's sucking up some water, and I think she's going to go put out the fire. Spraying the blaze with her fire hose nose. Working for peanuts, she's quite the contraption. A helicopter elephant, always ready for action. Helicopter! And look what her reward is. Don't bend folks. This is my... She gets a whole bunch of peanuts. Isn't that awesome? Have you ever seen an elephant helicopter in the air? I have never seen that. I hope I do someday. That would be so cool. Okay. So if you want, I know some of you are sitting down. And that's that's okay. You can do this from your seat. Um, we're going to fly to the moon like a rocket ship. Okay. So rocket ships, they go, they count down from 10 and then they blast off. So we're going to stand up if you can. If not, you can do it from your seat. And we'll go like this. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. And then we'll climb onto the rocket ship. So pretend you're climbing on the ladder. And then we're going to count down and blast off and go to the moon. OK? All right, here we go. Ready? So rub your, arm, your hands together like that. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. All right, let's climb on the ladder, climb on board the rocket ship. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Count down now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Yay, we did it! All right, let's go to the stars now. Let's go far, far, far. We're going to the stars. Far, far, far. We're going to the stars. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Far, far, far. We're going to the stars. You know what? We're already in the stars. Let's keep going and go to the sun and have some fun. Okay, ready? Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. Let's count down, ready? Get down low so we can blast off. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, blast off! We did it! We flew to the sun! Now, I wouldn't fly to the sun usually. That's probably not a good idea. It's a little bit hot there, right? But do you think that we might get to go to the moon someday? I think so. I sure hope so. All right. Well, good job with that, everybody. Give yourself a hand. I have one more song for you. So if you're standing up, you're moving around, that's okay. We can still do that. This is a fun book because it has some great pictures, illustrations, but it also, oopsie, <laughs> it also has um, some things that you can do so we can move a little bit, okay? So you can do the motions too. It is called If You're Happy by April Pulley Sayer. And it's published by Green Willow Books, which is uh, from HarperCollins. So think. If you're happy and you know it, you're, hmm, who hops? A frog, you're a frog. If you're happy and you know it, you're a frog. Or what else could hop? A bunny. A bunny, if you're happy and you know it, stretch your toes, just really show it. Let's do a big stretch. If you're happy and you know it, you're a frog or a bunny or a cricket. Hmm. If you're sloppy and you know it, you're a hog. A hog. Hog is another word for pigs. If you're sloppy and you know it, you're a hog or a raccoon. If you're sloppy and you know it, squeeze your face to really show it. You can close your eyes and squeeze. If you're sloppy and you know it, you're a hog or a raccoon or a chimp or a baboon. Here's a baboon. If you're growly, can you make a growl sound? Grrr. If you're growly and you know it, you're a dog, a dog. If you're growling and you know it, you're a dog or a bear. A bear growl is much louder, isn't it? Can we do a bear growl? <laughs> yes, awesome. I heard that over here. If you're growling and you know it, make a sound to really show it. <laughs> if you're growling and you know it, you're a dog or bear or a tummy over there. Sometimes my tummy growls if I'm hungry. If you're flappy, okay, so we can flap our arms and fly, right? If you're flappy and you know it, you're a bird, a bird. If you're flappy and you know it, you're a bird. Or, wow, what are those? Butterflies. If you're flappy and you know it, swing your wings to really show it. Wee! Can you fly? If you're flappy and you know it, you're a bird or a butterfly or a pterodactyl in the sky. Pterodactyl dinosaur. If you are slimy and scaly and mean, 
you're a, oh, never mind. If you're slimy and scaly and mean, you sound like, oh, never mind. I don't think I want to see that. If you're slimy and scaly and mean, perhaps you'd rather not be seen. So if you're slimy and scaly and mean, just never mind. But if you're flappy and you know it, you're a bird. If you're growly and you know it, you're a dog. If you're sloppy and you know it, you're a hog. And feel free to show it. If you're hoppy and you know it, you're a frog. Hop, hop. Or a bunny, or a cricket, or a penguin, or a grasshopper, or a mouse, or a lemur, or a kangaroo. Lots of hopping. I'm so happy hopping, hop, 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 with you. Hop. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. That is our last book. I do have a little goodbye song for you. It is called Wave Goodbye. So we are going to wave goodbye. But before we wave, let's try blowing a kiss with your fingertips like this. So actually, there's a little bit more to this. So wave up high, wave down low. I think it's time we have to go. So can you wave your elbows? Good, wave your toes. Wave your tongue like this. <laughs> and wave your nose, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wave your knees, wave your lips. So I go like this. And blow a kiss with your fingertips. And wave your ears. Wave your hair. Wave your belly and your derriere. That's back here. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wave your chin. Wave your eyes. So we could just blink to wave your eyes. And then just wave your hands and say, goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. I'll see you next week for some cool summer stories. So we can kick off and start our summer off, really. Have a great summer. So have a great week. All right. I'm so glad to see you guys this morning. Have a great time. And oh, you're welcome. I love reading stories with you guys. Bye-bye.